Hey, and welcome back to another Halloween themed review. Uh, this time we got something a little unique and uh, frankly awesome for you. I wasn't quite aware that these came out this year. I kind of stumbled across them at my local comic shop, but I'm really excited as a Halloween enthusiast, as a monster serial enthusiast, I'm glad to take a look at and show you guys the Jada Toys Monster Cereal action figures in these amazing packages. So why don't I start by giving you a close-up at these boxes and then we'll talk a little bit more about Monster Cereals and then give you a look at how awesome these guys really are. We're just fortunate enough that these exist at all, but let alone the boxes are amazing. Capturing the likeness of the cereal box was just genius to go this route. I mean, they got everything down to the General Mills logo on it. You got the, the character on it, some great artwork from like a comic strip on the back of them. But it, it even feels like a cereal box, which is what you want from a monster cereal figure, which there really haven't been a whole lot of these in existence since this brand came out in the 70s. Uh, another amazing touch is this action figure fax on the side. And it even says serving size, one figure. That's just a really great detail. Uh, it breaks down the contents and talks about the articulation on there. I mean, they really preserved that look and feel of the cereal box. And it wasn't just for the Count Chocula, but also they really captured the essence of the Frankenstein, or I'm sorry, Frankenberry cereal as well. Uh, well, not my favorite. It is part of the monster line. So they definitely needed to include that here. And uh, very similar to the Count Chocula with the same design aspects. I think it even has the same comic strip on it as well. So that's just great that they captured this look and the feel of the cereal box on both of them. Uh, as I alluded to earlier, these started back in the, uh, the early 70s. Uh, they added a lot of lines to them. We started with Count Chocula. We got Frankenberry, Boo Berry, and then uh, Fruit Boot. Uh, Fruit Brute, who was replaced, uh, I believe, in the uh, around in the 80s or early 90s with the Yummy Mummy, until um, he ended up uh, phasing out as well, and these things kind of disappeared for a while, and then we started getting them regularly again in the uh, the mid to late thousands, only around Halloween though. So it's been great. Uh, it's a great time of year to look forward to when these pop out on the shelves again. As if we didn't have enough reason to love these, and of course you know how I feel about how boxes open. They're magnetic, which to me is just great. Um, I, I don't like dealing with the Velcro. Um, on a lot of the NECA figures, I have the Velcro pull off the box. Um, same with the some of the um, publishing series for the Black Series figures. It's a sticker, so the sticker wears down over time and pulls off. The magnet will last, uh, I don't know, like a thousand years, so you don't really need to worry about that. So it just has a great premium feel to it. It's easier to open and close, and it looks great. Um, again, you have this nice artwork in the box as well on both of these. So that's great. I love capturing the characters there. And then, of course, the figures themselves, which we'll get, take a look at right now by just jumping into an edited unbox. So the man, the myth, the legend, Count Chocula right here. Um, as the box says, he has 21 points of articulation, so we see his arms here. They're moving pretty easily. Yep, his, his hands turn. He's got uh, double-jointed knees. That's really cool. Don't know if you need that articulation in a figure like this, but you got it. Uh, he's got pivoty ankles as well. Let's see how he balances. No problem there. We got some nice little artwork in the box here of him along with Booberry and Frankenberry. Um, None of the other characters seem to be here, just those two. Uh, they kind of been the, the staples over time. Uh, there is a removable, changeable head, so we're going to give that a go to see how tough this is. Oh, okay, pops out, nice and easy. And another one pops on. No problems there, so great design. Uh, the only accessory he has, other than the additional head, is his box of cereal, which is a great addition to this figure that's already awesome. So you could have him basically going around promoting his cereal uh, like he does in the commercials. Um, his hands don't really grip the cereal that's a little bit bigger than him. Uh, so I guess you kind of have to use two hands if you want him to hold it. Um, if you can get that to happen, uh, which is a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. But I guess if you palm one and hold the other here, you can pull it off. 
Uh, yeah. Well, that is not easy to do. Uh, if I would have redone this, I probably would have made the figure's grip a little wider because uh, he does not want to hold this thing. Um, yeah, that would be my only... Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can do it with a little manipulation. That would be my only criticism here is that it doesn't easily hold the cereal, but you can get it with a little bit of effort. Let's take a look at Frank. Frank has the same insert as Count Chocula, so I'm not really going to show you that. Uh, his hand does seem like it's better suited for holding the box of cereal here. Uh, yep, did not have to fuss with that at all, so that's kind of perfect. So he can hold his cereal. That's great because his other hand can't really do much. Uh, he's got sort of a, I don't know, happy head and then a goofy head. So we'll try switching these out, see how tough they are. Again, it's got that easy ball socket, just pops on. Oh. His head has a little more give because the way Frank's body is, so you kind of have to... A little bit more difficult and effort required than the uh, Count Chocula one, but it will pop in there eventually. And it just has a little more agency because of the extra um, socket it's on, so you could play with it and uh, maneuver the height around. Uh, he's a little bit differently shaped here, so his center of gravity is a little trickier than Count Chocula, but you could find it and he stands on his own. Uh, so, yeah, great. I mean, these figures will give you a close-up of having some great detail here in the face. You can see uh, you can see the dial work, the painting around the, um, uh, the, the meter here uh, that he has on his ears, uh, the, the bolts, so some different, some different painting uh, applications here on the side. Uh, the box of cereal looks great, too. I love having this as an accessory because they are monster cereals. So they really have to promote their, their boxes because that's what they do in commercials is promote the cereals. Um, he's got those great chains coming up and down uh, the, his outfit here. So I think he's awesome. I'd love to have, uh, love having Frankenberry in the collection. Uh, likewise with Count Chocula. He's got this cape that sort of sits on top so it's not one piece. So you get a little layering going on there, which is really excellent. Uh, he's got his signature buck tooth. Um, I don't know if it was one or two in the commercial, but on both heads, uh, he's got that signature buck tooth. Uh, the, his suit is captured really well here with his puffed up collars. So again, nice paint applications with the different tones on the, the face, on the eyebrows, on the eyelids, on the eyeballs. Uh, for these little guys that, with the, the price point they're at, it's really cool that they really captured the look, as you can see, of the figure even down the Frankenberry strawberry uh, fingernail paint applications, which is really cool that they captured that detail as well. But let me let you guys look at these up close and you can really see those great paint applications. Count Chocula just looks great here with the whole buy my cereal aesthetic. You can really see those really nice sharp lines on his paint applications, really taking after the cereal box art. Likewise with his alternate head and this I don't know if it's elated or shocked look, but they really capture all the details and facial expressions with uh, Count Chocula. I would have been happy with just one head. Uh, it's amazing that they included the second. So it's really nice to have a little bit of um, a little bit of agency in terms of how you want to display your figure and what kind of look you want to give them. Likewise, with the Frankenberry figure here, they really put a lot of time and energy into getting all those details with his meters, with his bolts. Uh, the strawberry nail uh, fingernails was just an amazing touch, uh, essential for this figure, and they really brought that detail in. Uh, not to mention the chains, they got those on there as well. So I, honestly, between the two, this one just has a lot more detail in it. I think it's just a better looking figure. Uh, so I'm really glad. He's not my favorite cereal, but he's my favorite of the two figures so far, clearly. Um, likewise with the alternate head, they threw that like weird little tooth he has in there. So it has uh, just a whole different expression. It's a little more fun to give you a little more variety when displaying these guys on your shelf. So it's really nice that, to have that extra head in there. Uh, like there's not many accessories Frankenberry has other than his, his box of cereal. So nice to have some options. Just a quick look at these guys today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I do. These are amazing. Uh, I hope they make more. If you noticed on the back of the box, which we'll do a little zoom in right here of the box art, 
you'll see they also have blueberry, they have fruit fruit, and they have yummy mummy. Uh, while there have been no other announcements that I've been able to see, uh, hopefully if this line is doing well enough, we at least get a blueberry because you need the 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 third member of the recurring trio of cereals. Uh, and hopefully a fruit root and a yummy mummy as well so we can fill out the whole group I don't know if they're doing monster mash set like last year for the 50th anniversary We got the monster mash cereal where it had all five of them in it, but it'd be great But it, we at least need blueberry. So hopefully Jada toys will finish that part of the set and give us one more um, if nothing else um, We would love to have all five of them, but these guys are amazing I'm a huge fan of breakfast, uh, the monster breakfast cereals and Halloween, and these have always been sort of a staple of that season for most of my life. So uh, hopefully you feel that way too, and more of us buy these things and Jada Toy comes out with more of this line. Um, it's great. It's a great piece of little nostalgia. It was a pleasant surprise to see in the store. Um, if you want to get these guys, uh, you could get them through some fan channels like uh, Entertainment Earth or Big Bad Toy Store if they still have them in stock. Uh, we get ours on Amazon. I'll try to put up some links uh, so you guys can get them if you want. But definitely worth it. The boxes alone are amazing with this great little action figure facts as the nutrition facts on the side. Preserving that look of the box. Uh, you know how I feel about magnetic flaps. I'm constantly going on about them in every video I do. So they just kind of nailed that with these boxes and the design of them. Uh, the figures are great. A lot of great detail put into them fun to have that box accessory because why not I mean this is what they do in every commercial they're promoting their cereal uh, essentially these are just a promotion of the cereal and that you're buying the figure for so uh, it's great it's cool I love it uh, hopefully you guys will too if you pick them up uh, that's all for now we still have some more Halloween themed videos that we're gonna have this month so keep checking back for those as well as some other reviews so until next time, like, subscribe, and follow, and we'll see you guys soon.